Maybe you just feel like you're not actually getting stronger and you're not actually getting faster, but you still feel like you're beating the shit out of yourself. Yeah. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Coach Ryan of Existence Athletics. And as some of you may know, I like to think of myself as a bit of a, an exercise scientist. You know, what I mean by that is that everything works. Nothing works forever. There's always room to improve. So I've been playing around with some different training protocols from different fitness systems. All right, some of you may recognize this uh, $1,000 shirt here, right here. So I've taken some of the CrossFit protocols and aligned them with some of the Strong First protocols. I know, blasphemous, blasphemy. Hear me out, all right, hear me out. So I've been doing a little bit of experimenting in this glycolytic, anti-glycolytic realm, and I would like to share this experiment with you today. Testing in the gym is just a way to make sure that we are improving, all right? So we've gotta have some sort of standard, some sort of test to where we can make sure that we are leveling up, all right? So I love that CrossFit has these standardized tests. I love that Strong First has these standardized tests. Well, you know, one of the things we like to do here at Existence is take a little bit of what works from every fitness system and combine that to, you know, what, what helps someone train for the most active life, all right? Your most active lifestyle, your most active existence, if you will. So, today what I've done is taken a classic, a classic test from the CrossFit world known as FRAN, and I've taken the Strong First, Strong Endurance Protocols, and paired this together, I know, bastardization, right? I love it. This is going to take two movements, the barbell thruster and the pull-up, and we're gonna train those in an anti-glycolytic fashion. So Fran is a very glycolytic test, all right? Meaning you're, you're using um, your, your glycolytic system rather than pure aerobic system or pure ATP, all right? And we're gonna take this very glycolytic test and break it down in an anti-glycolytic training protocol. You ready? Now the intent here is to choose a weight for your barbell thruster where you can perform 10 repetitions in under 20 seconds. All right, so the classic weight for Fran for men is 95 pounds for men, 65 pounds for women. What I want you to do for this specific training protocol is pick a weight where you can get 10 repetitions, solid, technically proficient repetitions in 20 seconds or less, all right? Then on the pull-up side of things, you need to choose a pull-up variation where you can get 10 repetitions in 20 seconds or less. Now, if you have the technique of a butterfly pull-up, that should be no issue for you. If you have the technique of a kipping pull-up, should be fine. If we don't quite have either of those, the jumping pull-up from a box where your head is about six inches underneath the bar is probably gonna be your best option. So we're gonna work this in an EMOM fashion, all right? On minute zero, you're gonna perform 10 barbell thrusters. On minute one, you're gonna perform 10 pull-ups. Now, you're staying in that 20 seconds or less, which means you're working for 20 seconds, you're resting for 40. All right, so one to two work-rest ratio. Now, obviously, 40 seconds is not enough for you to completely recover, but it's double the amount of time you're working. It's enough to let that heart rate calm down just a little bit, all right, let your recovery catch up just a little bit, and so what we're gonna do here is kinda of spike that heart rate, let it recover a little. Spike that heart rate again, let it recover a little. Spike it again, let it recover, spike it again, let it recover all the way down. So we're gonna thruster, pull up, thruster, pull up, rest. All right, and we're actually gonna rest until minute six. So minute zero, thrusters. Minute one, pull ups. Minute two, thrusters. Minute three, pull ups, and then rest until minute six. Now, if you were to do this one time, six minutes, you get a nice little training session in, all right? You did 20 thrusters and 20 pull-ups, pat yourself on the back. However, if you want a little bit of an actual training adaptation, do it at least two rounds, all right? If you do this for two rounds, you will have had 40 repetitions. One series will take you six minutes, two series, 12 minutes, three series, 18 minutes, all the way up to, you could do this five times, and that will still take you under 30 minutes, so right about 30 minutes, all right? So this is a great way to really train this classic glycolytic workout in a very anti-glycolytic fashion. I highly encourage you to try this out and let me know what you think.